Hey guys, y'all ready? Let's go. Hey my peeps, it's about to go down. If you like what you see, stay in chill for a while. Hit the bell, thumbs that up, subscribe to our channel. We're gonna have fun and do this mukbang, fat and full style. Let's dig in after I say my grace. Thank you, dear Father, for the food you have given us. In Jesus' name, we are truly thankful. Amen. Guys, I hope everybody's being safe out there. Um, it's crazy. Y'all, it's so hot. Yesterday, it was freezing. Out of nowhere, it was a nice day. Day before yesterday, I believe. All my days run together now. I, I don't even know what today is. I really don't. I just know I'm in the house. I'm bored in the house. I'm in the house bored. I'm bored in the house. I'm in the house bored. Anyway. No, I haven't done a TikTok today yet. Yet. Anyway, guys, I just have um, cornbread, hamburger meat, jalapenos, corn, cheese, sour cream. I think that's it. And um, I had some cornbread mix, so I said, why not make Mexican cornbread? So, y'all, I'm hungry. So let's get into it. Mm. I'm debating whether I'm going to eat that yet. <laughs> oh, and I have avocados on top. So how are you guys doing? I pray each and every one of y'all are doing okay. You're not going crazy in the house. Um, I just pray that this ends soon. And I just pray y'all, everyone stays safe. Anyway, let me get a little, little bit to eat. Mm. I'm not sour cream on top. Oh Lord God, that's hot. Mm. Let me see, I can see. I don't know if I can see the meat and stuff on the inside, but yeah. Ooh. That's hot. It's good, y'all. It's really good. I feel a little guilty eating it, but it's okay. I've been guilty eating quite a bit lately. But I want to get back on it. So far, I've maintained just gaining four pounds fasting eating what I needed to eat and then fasting it's gonna be okay we're gonna get back on it before long I could have even put picante sauce on here but I forgot it over there mm. so so good I've been doing a lot of TikTok watching. Mm hmm. I'm gonna make one. I don't know when, but I'm gonna make one. That Coke. Yeah. I had my first root beer about a week after we went on quarantine. When I tell you I felt so guilty, I felt so guilty. But it felt so, so good. That was my first root beer of the year. But it was good, y'all. This is pretty good. Very good, actually. Mm. So, um, my sister you know, we usually see each other, talk to each other every day. So I called her. And I said, what's going on, you know? I said she was sick, she didn't feel good. Yeah, my heart dropped. So I said, okay, like what? What's, what's going on, you know? I said she just felt like she had a little cold. Nothing to be scared about. Of course, I was terrified. So we talked that whole day off and on. And the next day we talked and she was just like, not herself. And I told my husband, I was like, something's wrong. I'm worried. And I said, just don't, don't panic. So she had a really bad headache and stuff. I'm sitting here panicking. I'm really fixing this, but mm. 
So. She goes to bed. I don't talk to her. The next day she calls me. I'm just talking to her, asking her how you feel. I hope you're doing better, blah, blah, blah. She tells me, don't panic. But I'm in the emergency room. I panic. I'm like, what well, what's going on? She goes, well, I've just been really sick. So, I just like, you know, I'm like, what do you think it is? She said, I think it's just an upper respiratory infection. I've been really sick lately, and I just hadn't felt good. Even before all this started, she said. So, I come home, and finally about 5 o'clock, I called her. I was like, look, I'm terrified. Well, give me an update on what's going on. Well, she said she was just about to leave. Or has she left? I don't remember. And they did the test on her. I don't know, something went 14 days. Just to go home and self-quarantine. I'm like, okay. Okay, well, what else can you say? So, it was horrible, y'all. It was horrible. A couple of days passed. I don't even, like I said, you guys don't even know what today is. Everything just runs together. She finally should call me back. Says, um, I feel better. You know, I could get up and I could move around a little bit. I'm not as bad as I was. So I was so grateful for that. She needed a couple things from the store. So, me and my husband, we suited up gloves, mask, which I have medical masks, not homemade masks, which, my own opinion, I don't think those are really going to. Anyway, I have medical masks. Um, you guys remember my mom had cancer before she passed and she had a lot of medical material here plus me and my sister we've both done healthcare all of our life because that's what my mother did as well so mask and gloves we have so we suit up suit up and we go to the store um she had called everything in and we drive up to curbside we pick it up we put it in there and we go and we take it to her house um she's waving from her window I just was freaking out. Yeah, a couple of days later, she called me back. I don't even know how many days later. Um, she said she got some results back from the doctor. She does not have it. She has a very severe upper respiratory chest infection, um, which is what she kind of said the whole time, but it was just really hard for her to breathe, and she was really weak and dizzy, and since so she stays by herself, she was a little, little scary. So, y'all, that was a big scare. Um... And for me have to be, say that, you know, it's scary thinking people can get it. It's scary knowing people that you don't know has it. I was terrified thinking my sister had it. And to find out she doesn't was such a relief. But for all the people whose family have been affected by this and their family, somebody in their family member has it, it's, a, I can, I, it's just horrible. I mean, my heart goes out to you. And people who have lost their families over this, my heart goes out to you. But anyway, that's not why I started this conversation. I just want to let y'all know that it touched home to me very close because my sister was very, very sick. And uh, my kids, you know, they call me every day and they're like, Mom, are you okay? Because I only have one lung. Um, they call me every day, Mom, are you okay? Da, da, da. I want to come see you, but they can't come see me. You know, they want to come spend time with me on the lake. It's everything shut down. And it's just like, you guys know, you're there. You're not with your family. And it, it's so hard not being with your family. This has really made me realize and appreciate so much more. Not that I'm not an appreciative person. But the fact that my kids can just jump in a car and come see me when they want to has really just made me realize how lucky we are. My son texts today and it's like, Mom, I really want to see you guys. I really I miss you. And I was like, I know. I really want you to. I want to see you guys as well. So, yeah, it's, it's really made you sit back and think about a lot of things. Has me anyway. 
the little things we take for granted. Um, my husband and I were lucky. We have an awesome job. Well, we retired from TUC. So, that alone. Put that aside. The job that we have now, we are extremely lucky. Our employers were off until father notice. And we're off with pay, guys. So many people do not get that. And it's just a part-time little job. That money brings in so much help, you know, um, for a retiree. And for our employer to do that is just amazing. Amazing. He, yeah, he, I got in a really deep thought there. He's just amazing, y'all. So we're really blessed. And my heart goes out to the people who are being let go and don't have a job. Wait staff. You know, uh, restaurants that are closing down because they can't afford to stay open. Hopefully with all this that the president's doing, everybody can get open back up and get some kind of normalcy back into life. I don't know, guys. It's just really sad. But anyway, I just thought I would share that with my, about my sister. And I'm so glad that she's okay. Anybody else been having problems with their phone? It's a provider. I'll have like, Full bars out here. Full. And my phone just rose, spins. <clears throat> and I'm with Verizon, so it's never done that. I don't know what's going on with that. Mm. Oh, I'm hot. I'm going to regret that later. Mmm. This is a treat because I've been still drinking my water, guys. But as long as I'm cooked tonight, I haven't been putting about any videos out. And when I I do see people put videos out, so many people are getting ridiculed. But what they're eating? Did they order out? Did they order in? I don't know. And I just kind of feel like people are going to come for me for not doing keto. So I just told my husband, I said, you know what? We're just going to go quiet for a while. But I missed you guys, so I wanted to come home and say hey. Mm. Mm. So y'all, leave me in the comments what y'all been doing on quarantine. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of TikTok, watching a lot of TikTok. My husband's been playing games, a game. He hasn't played his uh, game system in forever. He's back to playing games. How are you married people? How are y'all doing? Quarantine together, 24-7. We're good. We're lovely. When I want my time, I go to the back porch and I just sit on my back porch and leave him to play his game. Thank goodness our kids are grown. <laughs> Love you guys. I'm trying to go around the seeds. Mmm. Okay, guys, I just wanted to come and say hi, um, share my little meal with y'all. Um, love you guys, and I just want to come and say hey, check in with y'all. And if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to get our videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you like our videos. Don't forget to thumbs it up. You can thumbs it down. Either way, we appreciate you coming and stopping by. Let us know. Leave us some comments. Um, we're getting really bored, guys, so leave us lots of comments. Anyway, guys, we love you. Thank you for coming and sitting and sharing my little dinner with me. And we will see you tomorrow. Peace.